women who switch over to a whole food, plant-based diet experience wonderful changes in their menstrual cycle. Heavy bleeding is often replaced by a more normal, lighter flow, shorter bleeding times, and with much less pain. Cycles are more regulated and PMS is often eradicated. It can be a miraculous change for those women who have suffered with their periods. Scientific studies have also shown this effect. In this study, women suffering from painful periods were placed on a vegetarian diet, which eliminated all animal fats and nearly all vegetable oils, and emphasised high-fibre, plant-based foods. They were put on the diet for two cycles and experienced significant reductions in menstrual pain duration and pain intensity, as well as an improvement in symptoms of PMS, like bloating. In this study, the women reported having fewer cramps, losing weight, increased energy, better digestion and improved sleep. Now we're going to have a quick look at plant-based diets and testosterone levels in men. Does a plant-based diet cause men to have low testosterone levels? And if for some reason you do have abnormally low testosterone on a plant-based diet, is there anything you can do to have it return to normal? Interestingly, in this study, vegan men were found to have higher testosterone levels than both vegetarians and meat eaters. And in this study, male vegans were found to have sex hormones on par with meat eaters. So let's hear now from Dr. Michael Greger on why some vegan women lose their period, and then secondly, why some vegan men may have low testosterone, and then what we can do to fix these issues. Amenorrhea, primary cause is a lack of uh, sufficient body fat. So once your body fat um, stores drop below a critical level, when people get underweight, their um, body says, oh my God, we're in a famine situation. There's no way I'm bringing kids into this world. Let's wait until my fat stores get back up to a normal level. And then, okay, then I'll bring children into the world because it's a healthier world. There's harvest, there's food around. I mean, so that's a body's very natural reaction. And the same thing happens actually with men, male athletes, endurance runners, people that um, overtrain, it's called the overtraining syndrome. Them, they actually get a drop in testosterone levels. So because there's just so much stress that their body says, oh my God, all right, well, the last thing we got to worry about is reproduction here. Let's just survive. And uh, so a very kind of similar reaction. So the most important thing is to bring up one's body fat until one's, uh, you know, hormones come back. And so that may mean, you know, eating more frequent meals, particularly if you're, you know, exercising a lot, burning off lots of calories. It may mean more calorically dense food. So like, you know, nut butters and smoothies and dried fruit, things like that, um, to pack on the calories and just you know, bring up uh, your body fat percentage. But the reason it's so critical is because the lack of estrogens can uh, affect your bones. So you don't have enough estrogen to support uh, strong bones. We see these young female athletes, and not necessarily vegetarian, but just um, very, very lean uh, female athletes losing their period and then getting into severe osteoporosis. In terms of menstrual regularity, plant-based diets are fantastic. Actually, there's less anovulatory cycles when you move to a plant-based diet. So it actually improves your menstrual function and fertility, um, less uh, uh, menstrual pain. There's all sorts of benefits in terms of hormonal regulation, lower breast cancer risk, all those things, eating a healthy diet. For most people, the caloric diluteness of foods, the fact that there's a tremendous volume to very few calories, that's good for most people in the United States because, you know, um, many people are trying to lose weight. But for, you know, little kids who have tiny little stomachs, just can't fit in a whole bunch of food, or people who are burning huge amounts of calories, um, they need to eat a lot of the um, healthy uh, calorically dense foods to bring their uh, body fat levels up. So even if you don't care about having kids or something, you still need to have um, a normal cycle um, for your bone health. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos. If you want to see what I'm eating, follow me on Instagram at 801010 in London.